Hello everyone, my name is Jenna and today I want to talk about sunsets because I love sunsets. I think it's genuinely one of the best parts of life, is watching a nice sunset. They come in so many different forms, like so many different colours. I just think they're really beautiful and I love painting, so therefore sunsets plus Painting equals many, many sunset paintings. I've painted a fair few sunset paintings by now, so... Here you go. I'm going to be showing you today how I go about painting sunsets. Sunsets, Jenna style. Do I have a style with sunsets? No, I absolutely do not. So today we're going to be painting a simple sunset. They're quite hard to paint with the clouds and everything, so I thought we'd, let's just start with a simple. We can always add in the clouds in another video. Okay, so let's get into it. Yay. <laughs> First, before we start, you're going to want to be able to paint a gradient. I'm pretty sure you'll know what a gradient is, but it's basically blends of colours and we're, we're going to want to practice blending two colours, so a two colour gradient. Of course there are gradients with many many more colours, so today we'll do two because this is a simple sunset, not a complicated one, thank you. And you're going to want to get your two colours, mix them up on your palette and then we can start the gradient. You're going to want to start with one colour, put it on your paper or your canvas, whatever you're painting on, and then you're going to want to go back to the palette and add in a little bit of the other colour you mixed. Mix it, and then add it. And then keep going back to the colours, keep adding a little bit of the other colour to the first colour you've used. And then bit by bit, you will be able to paint your gradient because the colour is changing a little bit at a time towards the other colour that you've mixed. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Um, you're going to want to practice this a few times, um, just so you can get the knack of it. Next, you're going to need your reference picture. All you have to do is go on Pinterest and type in sunset and you will get a million different types of sunset. So many different colours, there's more like pinky ones, more bluey greeny ones, more orange ones. So uh, I recommend looking on Pinterest. <laughs> so I purposely picked a photo without any clouds for simplicity reasons. And also clouds are hard. Clouds are so hard to paint, I'm not even sure I can fully say that I can paint them yet. You're going to want to look at the top, the middle and the bottom colours of the sky in isolation so you can see the colours separately. This is really important so you know what colours you're dealing with. If you're using like an iPad to get your reference picture then zoom in and screenshot the colour so that you can fully see it on its own because you're going to want to mix that paint and it's going to be hard if you've got other colours in the mix. You want to see only that colour. Next, this is where you can do a little sketch of your painting that you want to do. I decided to do one that was very very simple with only some flowers at the bottom so I didn't really need to sketch it. But if you're going to do a landscape with some stuff going on, if you do want to do clouds then you can sketch them in now. Remember the rule of thirds. Paintings and pictures always look better when the subject is in the third of the picture. So, like this. Like this. I will show you. <laughs> I will just show you a picture. 
<laughs> it will make sense. Take that into account when you are sketching out your painting. Also, another little tip, if you've got some masking tape on hand, I recommend using that. If you have a sharp horizon in your picture, for example, if you're painting the ocean, there's a very clear horizon line, then use some masking tape to make sure that you get that that line really clear. So now you've done your sketch, if you're doing one. Next is the painting. What we came here for. Going back to the gradient, a gradient is essentially what creates a sunset. It's a gradient of colours in the sky. You're essentially gonna just wanna do that now for the sunset with the darker colour to the lighter colour. Start with the lighter colour and mix, 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 mix until you get to the darker colour at the top. Darker colour's not at the top, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know what to say to you. Normally the darker colours are at the top for a sunset. So, always start with the light colours. If you've got a sun in your picture, then you're going to want to start with that area and then work outwards from light to dark, gradually mixing in the darker colour that you've got for the top of your sky or wherever the darker places are. Side note, acrylics dry really quickly, so you have to be quick. This is why you have to practice a lot because they dry really quickly and if you're living somewhere hot like I am at the moment in Japan, then you blink and the acrylics are dried out. You can get um, medium to slow the drying time down um, and I've used this one before and this one I found to be very good so um, it essentially just keeps the acrylic wet for longer which I found to be very helpful. As you're painting the sky just keep an eye on what other things you've got going on in the picture. If you're painting an ocean it's very likely that the colours that you are mixing for the sky will actually appear in the ocean because the ocean obviously reflects the sky. So just keep an eye on what colours you have going on in the rest of the picture. When we're starting to paint and we've not got much experience with it, we just assume, oh, the ocean is blue, I will paint the ocean blue, even if the sky is like sunset orange. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. I know it was a very simple tutorial, but I just wanted to put it out there because I love sunsets, so I hope you enjoyed as much as I did because I love sunsets. Yeah! <laughs> I just think life is so much better with sunsets. Aren't we so lucky to be able to see a sunset every night? If it's not cloudy, that is. I think I'd love sunrises the same way if I woke up earlier. The key thing to take away is just keep practicing those gradients, mixing from one colour to another. Once you've mastered that, sunsets will be easy, or at least the simple ones with no clouds. So yeah, just keep practicing, you can do it. If you liked this video then please consider giving it a little like on the cheeky YouTube like button. If you want to see more of my art and Japan related videos then subscribe to my YouTube channel, it will be lovely to have you along. If you enjoyed this art tutorial and you want to learn more art then please leave a comment, let me know what you want to learn and I will try and put it into a tutorial video. I'm not a professional but I do like painting so <laughs> if you want to follow my art Instagram then it's at art by dot jenna i hope you all have a wonderful day be kind to people and go out and see a sunset see you in my next video <laughs> bye